your email account and autoresponder. In this lesson you're going to learn how to set up your domain email account and also your autoresponder. A domain email account is a very important asset and there are several different ways you can create one. Now if you've already created one then that's fine. But the first is to use your domain registrar. The second is to use Wix domain registrar. The method will vary depending on your registrar. The costs will also vary too. All you need to do is look for email service or mailbox on your domain registrar site. So let me quickly show you where to find this on Namecheap and also GoDaddy. Okay, so I've logged into my Namecheap account and all I need to do is click on the manage alongside my domain. Then scroll down and you're looking for private email. If you click on buy now, now you can see the three options. If you're on Namecheap, my recommendation is to go for the one at $28.88, but that's for the whole year. So basically you're paying just over $2 and it gives you plenty of storage and accounts. All you would then do is click on add to cart and then follow the instructions for setting it up. It's very straightforward and Namecheap has excellent support. When it comes to naming your email, we don't recommend using support at your domain. So in other words, support at charterkitchen.com. Either use something including customer, so customer service, customers, anything like that. Or if you wish, you can actually just use a name. But most consumers out there will expect to see something more business-like than an actual name. For GoDaddy, just log in and in the header you'll see email and office. Just click on that. And then you want to click on professional email. You don't need Microsoft Office. And then if we scroll down, you can see the options. You've got email essentials, which is their basic package, and so forth. Starting out, you're only ever going to need email essentials. You're only going to need the basic model. So it's $2.99 a month. This is on sale, so it will change to $4.99 a month when you renew. So both of those are definitely options. So Wix. Wix has its own email service. Now, this is not as cheap as the registrar, but all you need to do is log into your Wix account and look for the Get Your Personalized Mailbox tab inside the account and it costs about $5 per month. So let's move on to the autoresponder. An autoresponder is a service which enables you to build a list and create automated emails. And we recommend several, Constant Contact, Aweber, and Get Response. They are all pretty much the same, and you can choose whichever you prefer. Building a list outside of Amazon's email system is critical. Amazon system is a great starting point and you'll learn more about that in the next module. But it has too many rules and restrictions to really get the most out of it. Having an autoresponder means you can not only build a list, but create emails that are sent to them automatically. And there are no restrictions. You can basically send whatever kind of email you want. We are going to use Aweber for this lesson, but they all function pretty much the same way. Now for this lesson I'm going to use Aweber, but you can use any of the autoresponders we recommend. And the reason we recommend the three autoresponders that we do is because they're reliable, their deliverability is very good, and they integrate with virtually every piece of software out there. Now one thing to note, you do not need to set up your autoresponder until literally your inventory is on the way. There is a monthly cost for using it, and there's simply no reason to set it up any earlier. But now that we're here, let's go take a look at pricing. Now if you start scrolling down, you'll see the lowest entry is $19 a month for up to 500 subscribers and unlimited emails. You also get a free 30-day trial with any of the packages you choose. But the $19 one is the one we're going to start with. The great thing about Aweber and the other autoresponders we recommend is that you can start with the lowest package and when you need more, you can simply upgrade. So you'll see here it's $19 a month, and that's from zero to 500 subscribers. In other words, zero to 500 customers. When you get close to 500 customers on your list, you simply upgrade to the next level, and then you can go to 2,500 and so on. Every package has the same features, so it really is down to the number of customers you have. So you're going to start with the cheapest one. So you just wanna come back up to the top, click on free trial, and then fill out all your information. And once you've done that, just sign in. So I have used this account before for creating training. You can see up here, I've got a current list. But when you first sign up, you won't have any lists and you definitely won't have any subscribers. But once you've signed in, just go to manage lists, click on create a list 
So the first thing you want to do is fill in your company name and then your company website and then scroll down. Now you're going to be asked for your address. Now you do have to give them a valid address. This is the one I used for the previous example. It's a fictitious address, but you have to use a real address. If you've got a business address, then use that. If not, just use your home address. So in this case, if I click on use a different address, I would just fill all this information in. But as I've already done that, I don't need to, but you will need to fill in all your information the first time you create a list. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you want sender name. And I'm just going to put my brand name in. And then the sender email, that's the email you just created. The one I created was customers at charterkitchen.com. And then click on next step. So we need a list name, so I've called it Charter Kitchen Offers. And then you need to give it a short description. It's basically to describe the emails your customers are going to receive. You can see under this box, your subscribers will see this description. So if we click on the where, because that's a link, and you'll notice throughout Aweber, you'll get these kind of links. And you can just read through and see exactly what it means. But I've just put offers and discounts for Charter Kitchen products. Now you can make it longer, more descriptive, but essentially that's what this email list is going to be about. I filled in those two. I'm going to click on next step. Now this is what's known as a double opt-in. Basically when your customer arrives on your landing page and puts their email into the form on that page and submits it, they will receive this email. And what this email is, is basically saying to them, is it okay for this person to send you email? You will see in the next lesson that when we set up our page for them to put their email in, we tell them exactly what's going to happen so they know to expect this email. But we can change the email subject line if we wish. But as we're actually describing what's going to happen, they'll be expecting this. So there's no real need to change it. You could always request approval for a custom subject line. And it's something you can always split test at a later date. But for now, this title is perfectly acceptable. In the confirmation body, I'm going to edit that. And what you want to put in here is what they're going to be getting. Now, I will be going through this in the next lesson. But one of the options is a 20% discount on their next purchase. So we might change this to please click the link below to confirm that you'd like to receive your coupon code for your next purchase from Charter Kitchen Offers. You're reinforcing what they know they're getting. So it's just another way of telling them what they're going to get, which is going to encourage them to click the link. So I'll click outside and you see it saved it. We don't have anything else to do. And all we need to do now is click on approve message and create list. And there you go. You've actually created a new list. It's that simple to do. Now we will be using this account in the next lesson and I will be showing you how to set up your first message and also how to connect your Rayweber account to the landing page we're going to be creating. So what's next? So you have learned how to create your email account and your autoresponder. In the next lesson you will learn how to create your first lead capture page that will connect to your autoresponder. So action, create your email account and autoresponder. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.